next month I'm starting uh, gym after two months and I feel kind of unmotivated because I lost a lot of muscle and gained weight. I don't know if you can help with that no motivation. That is, listen, that is so, so, so common. You are not alone. I think a lot of people feel like motivation is necessary to get them gains, and it's not. If you talk to anybody who really sticks with this shit for any good amount of time, they'll tell you half the time we don't feel motivated. I'd say most of the time I don't feel motivated to work out. It's, it's not something that I necessarily look forward to all the time. When I do feel motivated, it's like a, hell yeah, I got a little power up today. Um, but you just, you can't rely on motivation. It's not reliable. It's just a feeling. And there are so many things that influence our feelings, right? And, um, you know, I put it this way. You can't wait until you feel like it to do work, right? To show up to your job. If you just only show up to your job on the days that you feel motivated to show up to your job, then you don't get fired, you know? You're not going to get paid. And that's kind of how it is with your gains. Um, you can't rely on your motivation to show up for your workouts. What you can do, though, is develop the discipline um, and get on a consistent schedule. So take out your calendar or your journal or whatever it is that you use to organize your time and schedule your workouts. Put them at a consistent time every week, same days, same times, and try to keep that consistent for uh, you know at least four weeks, right? Give it 28 days. And you're not gonna be perfect at sticking to your schedule, but the more that you stick to your schedule, the more it will settle in as a habit. And the more that it becomes a habit, the less uh, willpower you have to spend in order to consistently show up for that habit. And so for a lot of us, it's really the power of habit that keeps us going, and then also the discipline to push through even when we're not necessarily feeling it, right? Honestly, a lot of, especially with everything that's been going on sociopolitically over the last two years, three years, um, I, most of my workouts I don't really feel like doing. You know, if I just did what I felt like doing, I would just sit on the couch and binge watch Netflix and check out of life completely. But I can't do that, you know. Um, and I have a responsibility to put food on the table and send my dog to college. So I still show up, I do what I can. And that's the other thing. So when you're not feeling super motivated, lower the bar for yourself. Not every workout has to be a balls to the wall or boobs to the wall workout. Sometimes just show up and do something. Even if all you're gonna do is your compound lifts, right? Even if like you're like, I'm just gonna get the squats in, fuck the accessories, at least I did something. Sometimes that's what you have to do. Sometimes you have to lower the bar, just show up and do something. Those, or those are a couple of strategies that you can use. But I'm, I'm right there with you, my dude. Like a ton of my clients, as a coach, that's been my number one focus, you know, is trying to develop how do I as a coach help keep people consistent on their gains so that they reach their goals even when they don't feel like it. Many of my clients are women and the stuff that's been going on sociopolitically has a lot of women really scared, really sad, um, and not really caring about fat loss anymore. You know, for a lot of the women that I train, it's like I woke up one morning with less rights than I had the day before. So why the fuck should I worry about looking firm and toned when I'm like facing existential threat, you know? Like if they're taking away rights, what's next? And I'm worried about like what's gonna happen to me because some of the laws that are getting put into place are incredibly draconian. If you don't know what that means, they're very harsh. And they are leading to more women dying um, from doctors not stepping in. Like in, in Texas, there was a, um, uh, there's a recent report showing maternal deaths and things that have been you know, happening to women because doctors are not wanting to step in to provide abortion care until the woman is really like at death's door. And it's really traumatizing women. It's really traumatizing women. So a lot of people are really scared right now. Um, and so my, my female clients especially are like, how could I just like, how, how could I possibly care about what my body looks like when I'm facing existential threat like this. And so, you know, part of it becomes changing the mindset, you know, what it is that you're trying to achieve out of your fitness journey. Like, what's your goal? 
and why is it important to you? Sometimes you have to change your frame of mind, you know? You, you, it's very seldom that people are able to maintain a fat loss journey when their 100% goal is just to lose fat. That works for like short term, but over the long haul, your fitness needs to mean something to you. It needs to mean something important to you. If it means something that is really like deep and important to you, or if it's connected to something that's really deep and important to you, then you're more likely to stick to it. So for my women who are like, um, you know, scared and everything, we change our mindset. It's like no long, we don't care about looking cute and skinny so we can, whatever, feel good about ourselves. Fuck the patriarchy and its stupid beauty standards, right? At this point, we're going to get as strong as we possibly can because there's motherfuckers out there who want us to stay weak, who want us to stay complacent, who want us to be like, mm, I'm just frail and I need a man to take care of me. Um, we're not doing that in 2022. We're making ourselves as strong as possible so we can make our body strong, our mind strong, so we can defend ourselves because they, you know, the wolves are at the door. We got to fight for ourselves. We got to empower ourselves. So now we've changed from my females um, and, and many of my men as well, like for, for me, my female athletes or my, 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 my clients, our focus is we're going to empower ourselves through fitness because there's people making decisions about our bodies we've never met before, but this is something that we can do. We can control our body in the gym. We can make ourselves stronger, right? And so that becomes the focus. The fat loss happens kind of naturally as a result of the things that we're doing as part of our plan, but the motivation to stick to the plan is not, I wanna look better. The motivation is, I need to be the, my fittest, healthiest self so that I can defend myself for whatever shit they wanna throw my way. So, um, so, you know, redefining what your fitness means to you, like what your fitness journey is, and tying it to something that's like existentially important to you um, is, is, is important. Um, so, so I would encourage you to do that as well. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for more trainer tips and exercise tutorials.